I'm just waiting, hanging out, and I'm waiting. I'm hanging out, and I'm waiting. I'm hanging out, and I'm waiting for my fans to come through. We hanging out, we waiting. Look, is that Dollar Silver? Oh, you, you, oh, oh, Hunter got you, bro. Hunter beat you. Hunter beat you. Dollar Silver was not first today. Good try. You were second. You almost did it. You almost did it. Maybe you were first to comment. Maybe you were first, but second to comment. That's what I meant to say. Got it on my hand. How y'all doing? How is y'all doing today, y'all? We got a live Karen reaction for my peoples today. I didn't give y'all a live stream last night, so I got to make up for it. I was hanging out with some friends during the early 4th of July celebration. So y'all getting a live stream right now, and y'all going to get a live stream later on this evening. So it's going to be a good day. It's going to be a good day. It's the end of the week anyway, so it only makes sense. It only makes sense. But um, what up, A-OK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Arda Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. Y'all, we got a caring video here today. We're only going to do one. We're going to keep it short. It's about 20 minutes. But, you know, my reaction on top of it, we might be here for a solid 30 to 40 minutes. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. But, y'all, it's the 4th of July weekend, so I got a discount code available on the website for you all right now. If you want to copy Karen merchandise at 20% off, use the discount code at checkout July 4th. Not July 4th. July 4th. All one word, all together, combined the word and the letter and the number, all that stuff. July 4, get 20% off artykicks.com. But anyway, we's the boss to get this party started. This first clip, I believe we've seen though. But I've done over 2,000 reactions on this channel, and I have a very bad memory. So we're going to check this clip out anyway. Um, it's titled, the Karen video is titled, Karen TikTok Compilation. 10, you know, a bunch of those, bunch of those. Yeah, we got over 300 people in here. We're about to get this thing rolling. This Karen resists arrest and gets tased. I don't remember her getting tased. This is what I'm talking about. I don't remember. I just remember this truck and this, this lady. Y'all ready? I'm ready. We in here. We live, baby. Let's go. 305, 303. Do not do turned down. Step out. No. We're beyond that. Step out. This woman really pulled off on a cop. I don't remember that. Stay blazed. Thank you, bro. I try, baby. I don't remember none of this. Turn the siren off, please. I can't hear. Get out of the car. 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 You better leave me. Oh, he slammed this old lady on the ground. Put your hands behind your back. She said, leave me alone. She must not know how the police operate. Put your hands behind your back. No. No. She, he, she said, no. He said, put your hands behind your back. She's like, no. She don't know how the cops work. She turned around to kick him in the joint. She said, I said, leave me alone, young man. I'm your elder. Don't you know if I say something, you're to do it? Now take your hands off of me. I don't care who you think you are. Don't tase her, bro. Oh, yeah. Y'all remember this mess? This dude was trying on the shirt in Walmart, and this Karen is like, nah, bro. You got to go. You stealing. Put your shirt back on and get out of my store. What are you talking about? I'm not even trying to steal my shirt. Really? Because that's a tag right there. I'm going to have to extra large. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying it on. Mm, okay. Well, take your, put your shirt back on. You
I can't find the freaking remote, y'all. I'm trying to turn the volume up. Okay, get out. Put the shirt back on. You're, you have our shirt on. What do you mean? I'm trying to look. The video's on. Dang, lady. He wanted to just try on the shirt. Just let me know. It's not too good, actually. I need to return this. I, I can do that. What's wrong with it? It's broken. It doesn't work. Mm. It doesn't seem to be scanning. Well, what does that mean? It means it's not in our system. When, when did you buy it? Oh, well, I don't know. Look, can you hurry this up, please? Because I've got a lot to do today. This is a, a skit. Hold on. I, it, it, we need some more space for this skit. This is a skit. It's funny. People are making more skits for Karen stuff and other stuff. Sorry. Um, have you got a receipt? Well, I don't think so. I don't hang on to every piece of rubbish I find. Well, we usually ask for a receipt for proof of purchase. Look, I don't really have time for this. I spend a lot of money here, you know. Anybody that's worked retail, have you ever ran into Karens like this? I've worked a lot of retail jobs. This used to happen to me a lot. Somebody will come in there, want to return something, proclaim it broke. It don't look like there's nothing wrong with it. And they walk in the store without a receipt and demand that you give them money back for something. You don't even know if they bought this thing here or not. I wish a Karen would. <laughs> I wish a Karen would. There you go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't tell me this woman just reached into her purse and pulled out a random receipt. She didn't even look at what was on the receipt. She pulls out. It's still crumbled up. She's handing it off and it's still crumbled up. She pulled out a random receipt. This is what she did. Here you go. Woman, that's probably a receipt from your Big Mac that you got at McDonald's, girl. Right. Can I have my money back now, please? This is this is from another store. Ain't that what I just said? Ain't that what I just said? But that's Karen's for you. They're not logical thinkers. They're not logical thinkers. Woman, do you think you could just use any random receipt to return any and every item that you purchased? That's her brain don't work. It don't work. It don't work. No, it's not. Yes, it is. I can't return this. Why not? Because you didn't buy it here. <laughs> well, what does it matter where I bought it? I mean, you sell all the same stuff here. Just, just put it on the shelf and sell it. Oh, my. I'm going to tell you her problem. I'm going to tell you her problem. She said, why does it matter where I bought it? You sell all the same stuff here. Just put it back on the shelf and sell it. Parents. <laughs> Parents. If you don't teach your kids how retail works or how any type of job similar to this works, then allow them to have a job like this for their first job so that they can understand what these people go through and what they deal with. I don't care if I ever become rich as hell one day, my kids will work a retail job so that they know to respect retail workers when they walk into their facilities and they want to deal with them. This woman is spoiled rotten. She probably had everything handed to her in life and she probably got out of college and got into a good paying job or married a successful man. One of the two. She don't understand how things work. She's probably one of those people that when she goes to the store and buys some stuff, if she decides she doesn't want to buy it, she puts it in another part of the store. Like she might get a, a freaking remote control in electronics and then you see that thing over there by the cucumbers and produce. <laughs> she don't put it back where she got it from because she don't respect it. She don't respect what those people have to go through or what they do as a is um as they how they earn money. Oh my god. I thought you said it was broken. Well after you fix it, obviously. God you check out chicks are thick in the head. Look. She said after you fix it. They don't fix the stuff at the store where you return it at, stupid. 
See, this is a skit, but people really think like this. I've really dealt with people that have came into the store saying everything that this woman is saying. I've dealt with this before. That's why I'm so arrogant, irritated right now. Ah. Uh. Can I have my money back or not? I'm sorry, but we've got a lot of people waiting and we're gonna need to sort this out. I don't care about that. I was here first. Entitled. Whatever happened to the customer's always right, eh? That's, see, ooh. That's why I do not agree with that whole saying that the customers are always right. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I used to, and then I started dealing with Karen's, and I stopped, because she's not right. She is not right. The customer is not always right. I swear, if I ever have another boss that says that again, I'm walking out of there that day, because how do you run your business? <laughs> how do you run the position that you're in, the leadership role that you're in? You, you cannot possibly be a good boss if you think the customers are always right. I, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Eric, thank you, brother. Thank you for the twenty dollars. Don't know. Luke, bitch. Woo! <laughs> See, I like her. I like her. I like her. She was out in the. She's the one. She's the one that knows. She knows herself very well. This lady right here with the little, with the little smirk on her face. She knows herself very well. She was like, I'm gonna stand over here and let my coworker deal with her. I'm not gonna say nothing because if I say something. I might get fired. <laughs> Nobody's gonna like what I have to say. She's like, look, bitch. <laughs> ah. I was here first. God, whatever happened to the customer's always right, eh? Look, bitch. Ah! The only way you're getting any money back is if you manage to drag your fat ass over this counter and get it out of the till. Mind you, if you do get over this counter, I will stomp your ass into the ground. Woo! American History X style. <laughs> I like her. I, I could tell. I saw the feisty in her. I saw, I was like, look, she she the crazy one back there. You don't want to deal with her. She just going to stand back and be quiet. She was like, if my little soft co-worker can't handle her, ooh, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. Bite the curb, bitch. Woo! You saw Karen got scared. Karen got scared, boy. I got to that point in my last job. I had a dude, he was a Karen, right? He was just like her. I, 10 times worse, like 10 times worse. He was a male version of her. So what does that mean? He was extremely aggressive. As if, like he wanted to fight type of aggressive. I told him, I was like, bro, if you don't stop talking to me the way you talking, I will pull you across this desk and whoop your ass. Woo, I was like, no, you, bro, I will lose this job before I be disrespected now. I don't know who you think you're talking to. Look, I can't. I can't. Thank God. Thank God I got YouTube, baby. Thank God. Me and subscribers knocking on the door. David. This lady was trying to steal my dog. That's messed up. How you gonna walk to, up to somebody's lawn? Oh, look at the pretty doggy. Hey, puppy. How are you? I'm gonna I'm take you with me. This lady wrong. No one steals my dog. <laughs> yo, this one, yo, she look crazy. Karen calls the, what was that? Karen calls the police on the mother for thinking she's kidnapping the baby. Oh, this is like another skit. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm back. One minute, did the baby tell you he wanted a scarf around his neck? Stupid. When you get home? You should give him Tylenol right away so he doesn't get a cold. Yeah, that's not how Tylenol works. Exactly. I'm guessing that you haven't been a nanny for very long. I'm guessing you haven't been a mother ever. I found him at Whole Foods. 
near the bulk peanuts. I like peanuts. <laughs> she messing with her. She messing with her now. This is funny. Y'all can't see me that well. I need to move this that way like that. That's better. She messing with her. And you can tell the moment that she realized the what kind of person she was dealing with right there. This was the very moment that she realized, all right, this woman don't have it all the way there. She's entitled. She thinks she knows the world better than any and everyone else around her. That's the look on her face. That's what she's realized from this Karen. So she was like, all right, I'm going to mess with her. <laughs> she said, look, I don't know what I'm dealing with. This woman is African-American and the baby is white. This is not racist. I'm just concerned. She says she's not the nanny. I don't know what's going on. Woman, you never heard of adoption. This woman, she might be African-American, but she might be a mudblood like me. If you don't know mudblood, then you probably wasn't a fan of Harry Potter. She might be a mudblood like me. She might be mixed. Y'all, this might be a skit. I've seen this happen in person. I think I, I, I've seen this happen two or three times in real life. Just like this. Just like this. I've seen it happen. This might seem like a skit, but it's real. <laughs> Don't get mad at me for saying this, but I'm just going to be completely honest. Just like this is a white woman doing this to a black woman, I've only ever seen it that way. I've seen this happen real real, real life three times. And it's only ever been a white woman seeing a black woman with a child that looked like it might not be theirs. Um, I've never seen it the other way around. I've never seen a black woman attack a white woman for having a black baby. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, she, maybe she adopted her. Maybe, like, whatever. We, we, I don't know. But... <laughs> I've seen this. This is a real thing. Oh my God, poor thing. Poor thing. It, it sucks that she's having to deal with this right now. And then you got this other lady back here recording. <sighs> no, I wanted it more. I wanted more. No, why they do this to me? Why? Why? But like I said, I've seen that happen uh, two or three times before. And I've always looked at it like, yo, mind your business, mind your business. But at the same time, I can understand, especially in a place like in Georgia, where human trafficking is the highest of any other state in this country. Um, you, it, it happens so much that you almost look at it like these women are saying, hey, look, this situation just doesn't look normal to me. Let me see if I can save someone. Maybe I'm protecting someone from being in some serious harm. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's understandable in that sense, but it's like, it's uncomfortable for the person like her where she did nothing wrong. This is her child. And now she's being accused of kidnap. It's unfortunate, but hell. It's like somebody's trying to do right, but this is not that situation. <laughs> oh, man. Conversation right now because I'm in the middle of something, but thank you for your concern. I appreciate it. Ma'am, we are... A Karen is ruining a proposal. We're not going to stop this event for this conversation, so please walk Hold away. On. I'm not... Hey, it's super nice to meet you. What are we doing on your hair? So I'm looking for something like this. Oh, okay. Um, so that is pretty blonde and you are very dark at the moment. Um, so it may take several sessions for you to get that light. No, see, that's where you're wrong. Um, I actually know the owner. Yeah, and they, they did already tell me that it can be done in one session. Y you know the owner? Yeah, I do. Wow, good to know. Mm -hmm. And they already told me that one, one session is all I'm going to need. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh. Oh. This reminds me, I forgot about these Karens. A lot of y'all look, if you worked, if you worked in customer service, you know these Karens. You know them very well. They're the ones that come in to your job and tell you how to do your job. That's exactly what this woman did. She's coming in to get her hair done. She wants it a, a lighter color, maybe blonde or something. 
The lady that works there that is going to probably end up doing her hair is telling her, okay, cool, your hair's pretty dark. You're probably going to need a couple of sessions in order to get it light. And she's like, no, I know the owner. She told me I can get it done in one session. You know what? Do your own hair. Do your own hair. I'm out. I'm out. I ain't about to do it. I can't deal with you. If you know, if you know best, do your own hair, woman. Look. I'm telling you, man. Ooh. Don't come to my job telling me how to do my job if you don't do my job. <laughs> oh. I, look, even as a content creator, I get it. Even as a content creator, I get it. It happens to me where people be trying to tell me how to do my job. I'm like, how many subscribers do you have? <laughs> Wait a minute. You don't even have a YouTube channel. And you're trying to tell me how to become a YouTuber? How to do my job better? How to grow my channel faster? And you don't even have a channel yourself? It's just like when you're on Instagram and people be DMing you saying, hey, do you want a blue check? You don't even have a blue check. How are you going to get me a blue check? Okay, so how do you know her? Oh, we've we've been friends forever. We go way back. That don't that don't mean nothing. So cool. So cool. And she also mentioned that my services are going to be on the house today. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. I remember I know y'all know those cares, man. They come in there saying, "Oh, yeah." And my service is free today because I know the owner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, did she? Yeah, she did. Yeah, so I am actually the owner. Wait, what? <laughs> Got her! He keeps stealing my mail. God, that's loud. Yes, I, I am actually. You're, yes, thank you, thank you're taking my, my property. Well, and goings of UPS trucks in this neighborhood. What about, what about A lot them? of packages coming so? to this house particular. Well, something's going on in there. Something's so, going on so in so there. It's, it's no, Amazon. I'm taking the package. It's my Amazon I'm wish sir, list. I'm taking the package. No, you're not taking no, my package. I am, That's no, nice excuse stuff. me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm calling Cap on this. I'm calling Cap on this. You know how I know it's Cap? Because the dog, the dog is not trying to defend his owner. I did not show you. You're fine. You, you sprayed me with whatever that stuff is. Cap. Cap. Hi. I'm so sorry to bother you like this, but I've actually been sitting over there with my very lovely heterosexual children, and I happen to notice that you two are, um, <coughs> homosexuals. Uh, oh, you are. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, well, there's a restaurant next door for your kind. So if you could just... Yo, he had me so confused. He had me so confused. I'm like, bro, you're acting all flamboyant, complaining about flamboyant people. <laughs> That's all I want to say. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, okay, he's acting out a Karen. Okay, a female Karen. Okay. Just, you know take your homosexuality somewhere else. Um, that would be amazing. Oh, okay. Well, let's call the cops. See, uh, that, that right there, you, you see, man, I live in Atlanta. I mean, if you know about Atlanta, you know about Atlanta. So I've definitely seen that. I've seen that a lot. I've seen that more times than I've seen the other incident I was telling you guys about not too long ago. Um, that right there is someone um, imposing their their beliefs on someone else. It's not okay to do. It's not okay. If you're against something, you're against it. Don't don't publicize it. Don't verbalize it. Don't express it out into the public. Um, just keep that to yourself, amongst yourself, in your own home. Don't go out there into the world and think that you can change anybody or or try to be um, a police to the situation just because you're not, you know, you, you don't want it. You don't want to see it, whatever it is. Oh, because of the internet, we see it more. We see it more. Karen goes, wow. <laughs> Yo, this dude is cracking up. Y'all see my mans right here? This dude is laughing.
He's like, bro, she's so mad she couldn't get her smoothie. Look at this. Like, oh, this. I don't know if this person is genuinely sad or upset about the situation, the barista, or if they're kind of laughing themselves. Oh, man, I didn't see it. Wait, wait, Karen puts up a sign that says what? A sign of her own. Okay. Did she says I'm, does it say I'm Karen? Hi, neighbor. I'm Karen. <laughs> hey, at least she knows she's a Karen, man. W. E. We know. <laughs> He's like, we got our own sign. Yes, <laughs> we know. Uh, people go drive through the neighborhood and be like, hi, neighbor, I'm Karen. We know. <laughs> Woo! They some fools, man. We know. today's episode of No Karen, You're Just Homophobic, we meet Tabitha Travis, who decided to stop two women from showing their pride. This is much pride as you. No, you do. Yeah. See, this is what I was talking about again. Somebody trying to enforce their way of thinking on the rest of society because they're against something. I have more damn right. You know what? I work. I pay taxes. Wow. She think because she works that she pays taxes that it's okay for her to enforce her way of thinking. Shame. We were too. We paid for the spray paint. We were born here too. Pretty sure my English is better than yours. Don, shout out to you. Thank you for the dono, sweetheart. for Blunt Memorial Hospital in Tennessee, and I'm interested on what they have to say. Oh, that's crazy. Exposing her. Versus Karen. Hi, can I order a Coke, please? Ah, shoot, I forgot my wallet. Oh, don't worry about her. I can pay for you. Thank you. Okay, so then I'll have five glasses of wine, four New York prime ribs. Are you trying to feed the entire soccer mom squad? No, it's for me. I know I look like a sugar mama, but I'm not going to fund your cholesterol binge. You said you'd pay for me. You own me. I... This is a different situation. I think guys deal with this more when it comes to women. Like, <laughs> this is... Oh, man. She's out. This woman's ordered a Coke or something. And she said, oh, I forgot my wallet. Then... The, the kind lady behind her that's next in line says, oh, don't worry, I got it, I'll, I'll pay for it. And she's like, yeah, let me go ahead and add five more things to this order. No, inconsiderate. Don't 
owe you anything, except maybe a good slap across that greasy cheek. You crook! Shut it, you overgrown Pomeranian. Now listen, I'll talk to the waitstaff for you. You will? Hi, this Karen ordered a bunch of food she can't pay for, so she's volunteering to wash the dishes for you. <laughs> That's for poor people! You are poor, Karen. If not in your bank account, in your moral character. Bye, Karen! I wonder if that's uh, her nationality for real, whatever that accent is. Yeah, we almost got a thousand people up in here. I was not expecting it. All right, I'm just gonna grab my worms and go. Excuse me, ma'am, you do have to pay for those. Well, the other lady who works here always gives them to me for free. Um, do you know her name? Oh yes, her name is Melanie, and she is so sweet. She just gives them to me for free every time because she says that she breeds them at home. She told you that she breeds them at home? Oh yes. She said that she breeds them at home and that you guys sell them here, so she'll just cover it for me. Alright, alright. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's talk about this for a second. Let's talk about this for a second. There are times where people... <laughs> might be super nice to certain customers and do little favors for them. But if you are not socially aware, if you don't understand social dynamics, then you will take advantage of it at times where you're not supposed to. Cause I've seen this happen before where there might be a, 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 a worker, an employee that is fond of a customer that comes in the store. So they might do certain things for them that they wouldn't do for other customers. When that customer comes into the store, if they're not socially aware, they expect that same treatment from every other employee in that store. When And when they don't get it, they get upset about it. And when they tell on the person that gives them that treatment, that person ends up getting in trouble, if not fired. So if you're someone that gets special treatment from an employee of a store, appreciate it. Don't take advantage of it. Don't ask for it. Don't ever ask for it. If they do it, cool. If not, cool. I'll tell I got examples of places that I go where I get that type of treatment. I will definitely have a conversation with her about that. But unfortunately, we do not breed our own worms. We do buy them from the dis distributors. So I am going to have to have you pay for those today. Well, Melanie gives them to me every time. You're telling a little old lady that she can't have her worms for her bearded dragon? I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that you do have to pay for them because I don't have any proof that you shouldn't be. I didn't even bring my checkbook. Get me your manager. I am the manager. Oh, heck no. Nah. This woman in here is destroying the store for what? Oh my God. Oh, oh. Woo. look, she gonna pay for all of that. I'm, I'm charging her. I wish she would come to my store and do some mess like this. Carrie's going down. What is up guys and welcome. She was a, she was a, she was a Karen. Boy, I say she's a black Karen. What that say? What are those? Dimples? I got, no, my beard was in the way. Oh, fidgety spinner these. Fresh? You can't throw away your trash in our bins. Yes, I can. No, you yes, I can. She said, you can't throw your trash in our bins. Ken, could you please leave me alone or I'll call the police? You are harassing me. Call you are harassing me. Thank you very much. It's 911. Okay, I will. 
Shout out to all my channel members. I see y'all in here. I'm gonna shout y'all out at the end of the live stream. Or before the next video. The racist lady here. <laughs> That's yeah. a big mistake on your part. Oh, okay. I like the way she talks. Oh. She sound old school. She talks slow like she smoked a lot. Look. She sound tired. Tired because she's older. Throwing away the trash. You know, you're going to be instantly famous. Hi. You're going to be instantly famous. You know that, young lady? Come on. Here, let me close the door for you. See how much a gentleman I'm being for you? Florida. You're excused. What's your name and what are you doing here? Please, you're excused, ma'am. You you're harassing here? me. You are harassing me. I will call the police call the if you police. don't leave. Call the pow pow. Okay? Thank police. you. What is your name? Martha, show me your name? license. Do you live here? Show me your license. Show me yours. Show me yours and I'll show no. you mine. Wow. This is Florida, folks. Show me yours and I'll show you mine. Yeah. Here we go, Martha. We have to pay Zero extra for people to come clean okay. out. And we pay extra too. Alright, why do you think I why do you don't think I live here? Because of the way I look? Because why? I, until two weeks ago I was president of the homeowners association. Okay. She said, until two weeks ago, I was president of the Homeowner Association. What does that mean? Does that mean she's no longer president of the Homeowner Association? Why? Did you get kicked out for being a Karen? And to my knowledge, I know everybody who lives here. Okay. That That's the issue. She don't know him. Sorry about that. I did have a little bit of a temper tantrum. Feel so much better about expressing myself. I told you I wasn't perfect. Best thing I ever did. Heading to Costco now and Vegas on Thursday. Where I'm at, she come over here and say, hey, how you doing? I remember this. What you doing, how you been? Cuz, what's up? Farmer's okay, how you been? Susie King right here want to come over here and embarrass herself. And we ain't did nothing to her. How we gonna eat? Y'all eating the same damn, what? how you gonna eat? He eating, ain't he eating? With no mask on, Sue. So. I remember this, man. These guys are in the restaurant eating food. And this Karen comes over to them and, and she's upset at the fact that they're not wearing masks. They're trying to eat. <laughs> you, how you gonna eat through the mask? Like, it, it won't go in your mouth. Now, Susie, I'm, I'm you, you on the news channel now, honey, because you the, you the fucked up. So you on the news at channel. At this point, go come over here and ask me where my goddamn mask was. How I'm gonna eat without my damn mask on? How you gonna eat without. <laughs> Silly people. Silly, silly people. Don't you love when people try to run and jump, but they forget the jump part? Okay. Why did she flop like that? She kind of like went back like. Okay. No more fish. Yep, no. really about to swim over to this man boat to try to stop him from fishing <laughs> she's like no more fish no more fish yeah someone scared him away <laughs> he said yeah someone scared him scared them away it's a little unacceptable but we'll leave the lengths that karens will go to to get their way Because I eat them. Oh, I remember this video. Uh, dude, this guy and this kid are both Karens. 
Why? Because I what eat the them. What does video do to you? All right, you're on video. I eat yeah. them. You eat? Do you buy meat from the supermarket? Yeah, but we yeah. Don't you know they get killed. Look at this kid, bro. He got so much emotion. Oh, they get killed even. They get killed in dirty areas. Nasty, a whole bunch of blood leak. That's why I'm saying. That's why you don't want that. You know, you're like, you're like a hero. On I swear, it tell me, y'all tell me, you don't know somebody that looks like this guy. I swear, everybody knows somebody that looks like this man. Long Island right now. What? Because kids are upset. They're crying because you want to kill deer. I'm sorry that they're crying. crying. You hey, need to explain to them that it's like part of life. No, no. Why don't you go? New channel member. Thank you, sweetheart. Please you don't hit my car. Do you have a bet? Yep. <laughs> Would you like to see your pet Hang out in somebody's neighborhood right now. I'm not trying to do anything bad. Why don't you go somewhere else? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Maddie, hey, Maddie, Maddie Brown says, what would the world be without Karen's? Huh. <laughs> a better place. <laughs> I'm not trying to do anything You're bad. You're using a weapon to an alive animal. Hey, but it'll be far less interesting. You know, I'll tell you that. Karen's keep the world interesting. Okay, and I'm going to eat it. Instead, you let somebody you're else kill it. it. No, you're not. What do you mean I'm not going to eat it? They make for a very fascinating social dynamic between people. I appreciate everyone, even Karen's. <laughs> it's like, thank you for showing me how not to be. I appreciate that. Dude, we don't want to see it. Well, then, what are you away. hunting? Hey, Don, new channel member. Thank you, sweetheart. Whoa, she tried to attack me. Yo, get away from her, bro. She look creepy. Yo, she look mad creepy, bro. This is ridiculous. Oh. Cry about it. Cry about it, please. Cry about it. That's fine. Nothing illegal. Karen's gone wild, man. Calm down. Calm Sorry, down, Karen. Evening for a split moment. My evening, I'm putting my oh, children chill. down, and you're ripping down. What How about you, chill? For like, what reason? What are you trying to prove? Because I'm buying this car. I'm taking it out of here. Yeah, it's hilarious. Thank you. Have a good night. Honestly. I'll be loading this on the trailer now. I thought I read that right. So he's test drive. He test drove a G35 straight pipe for 30 seconds, and then Karen comes out of tag. Oh my God! I'm trying to put my young ones to sleep to bed, and you're over here ripping down the street, making all this noise. Like, what are you trying to prove? He's like, man, I'm trying to buy this car. I'm just test driving to make sure it's good. It has pipes on it. That's it's straight pipe. It makes noise. Get over it. It took me 30 seconds to do that. Chill. I thought about getting a G35 straight pipe. No, G37 coupe. But there's just really no reason. Hell, I was driving my car today and it started acting up. It act like I was pressing on the gas and it was like, yo, wait, what's happening? It's not really doing nothing. And then it started shaking a little bit. I'm like, oh. Time for me to get a new car. Let me let me get out of the 90s with my 99 Accord. Maybe I need something in the 2000s now. I need a new car. I've never had a new car before. Hi, I want to trade in my son's game. Hi. Okay. What game is it? It's F-I-F-A. Um, Do you mean FIFA? Well, I don't know. Do I? God. Okay, madam. Can I look at it? Yes. Here you go. Thank you. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> yep. So what price can you do me for it? Um, 99p? Excuse me? Madam, it's FIFA 12. It's nearly 10 years old. <laughs> okay. That was old. That was old, little thing. Ooh, look at this GTR. You know Karen's, Karen's like, uh, Karen's jealous. She's either jealous or she's jealous. I'm just She's like, look at this nice car. I know it's it's so loud, I can't stand it. Yo, she out there, bro. What? How you go? 
the jealousy. This man didn't do nothing wrong but be successful. He do nothing wrong but be successful, bro. God, Kara's gonna hate y'all. Since we hit a thousand, we done hit a thousand people. We gonna do one more video. We gonna do one more video. Don't forget, y'all, for the people that's just not making it to the live stream, we gonna be here again tonight. I didn't do last night live stream, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do it tonight. So we got one more video. That was a long one. This one ain't gonna be that long. <laughs> I promise you that. I got stuff to do. I gotta get up out of here. But again, for those that's making it to the channel or to the live stream right now. I do have a weekend sale, a 4th of July sale going on on the website. Get your carry merch, whatever else you want to get. Beard oils, a restock on that, all that good stuff. 20% off, artykicks.com. Use the discount code to check out 4th, no, July 4th, July 4th. Get 20% off, my uh, biggest discount ever. All right, y'all, this next, it's a compilation. Can't freak out. Y'all ready? Let's go. It's already big. And welcome back to Karen Go, where we curate and update you with great Karen videos. Both of these videos are going to be down in the description box below. Let's not wait and get straight into it. This random guy with a mic and loudspeaker on his belt just went on to accuse this homeowner of being a private investigator and stalking him. He's really confident in his accusations, showing every part of his face and every letter and number on his license plate. This man over here got a microphone and a loud mic attached to his belt. I ain't never in my life. <laughs> oh my God, that's somebody that wants attention so bad. It was really kind of ironic to see that that man being shown in a video accuses someone of stalking while he tracked his house in order to humiliate him. This man is crazy. Let's watch it. DJ Youngin, welcome. Because then people can know the scum that you are. Scum. All your neighbors can know your scum as well. Please, I hope you post it. You're not, you're not really intimidating me by taking a picture. I'm here to intimidate you, and I am. Oh, oh you're red faced. I love it. <laughs> and you know. Yo, the dude that's recording this guy is cracking up. He's like, yo, this dude is legit insane. He's a psycho. He's crazy. He is crazy. This makes no sense at all. He's like, this man think I'm a, 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 a freaking investigator or something, and I'm after him. I don't know this dude. I don't care nothing for this guy. This reminds me of the Mr. Ballin video where you got the name that's paranoid, that, that people are after him, and nobody's after him. But the next time you come and they try to intimidate me, I'm going to intimidate you back. I'll be here every time. You intimidate me at my house, I will be here to intimidate you at your house. Why don't you hire the police to come? Please. I. Well, go ahead. Oh, see, get this side. This is my good side. You're done, buddy. In fact, you're going to jail. Good luck, scum. <laughs> Ex cop scum. You're going to jail, buddy. Have a good day. Stray Cat, if you haven't tried the Mafia sit, that's the most popular one. And it goes the fastest, man. It's only like five bottles available in each size. That's my suggestion. Yo, at least unlike the other people that be paranoid and run away from home for no reason because they think somebody's after them, at least he is not afraid to confront the person that he thinks is after him. Bye. You sure I get that license plate number? Oh, go for it. Weird. Going after you, buddy. Time is over. You say your time is over. He is so paranoid. I wonder. This I wonder. I wonder if. 
the more I do research on people, the more I learn interesting things about the way we work. Um, sometimes you can set yourself up um, to come a, become a little crazy for no apparent reason. Like if he's someone that's very is isolated, like he, he maybe he doesn't have a wife and kids. Maybe he's not that close to his his family. Maybe all he does is go to work and then come home. He might get in his head about some stuff and begin to believe the stuff that he trips about. I feel like I, I feel like people do that. I feel like people do that. They be, they begin to believe the noise that is in their head. Karen was furious when she found out that she was getting kicked out of this establishment, assuming that she did something wrong. She blurted out everything that she can out of establishment. This looked like Marshalls or Ross. Her anger and was even confident that she could get a staff fired for kicking her out of this tour. She can't even decide if she's going to leave and I think she went in and out at least two times. Kudos to the woman handling the situation professionally. I promise you that you no good bitch. Okay, that's fine. That's what it's called. Racism, bitch, more racism than your fucking white woman's ever. Okay. Fuck you, you fucking black bitch. Okay, that doesn't bother me. Fuck you. Okay, have a good day. Don't need to turn on your porch like a fucking monkey. Get out. Don't you love how people result to racial slurs? to get underneath people's skin. It doesn't work for me. It doesn't work at all for me. And it doesn't seem to work for this lady either. These Mexican put up was handling this racist Kevin well, as this guy berates them with words with racial undertones. He wasn't being served his food because he wasn't wearing a mask. You can observe that he was the only one in the area without a mask, and because he's white, he thinks he can just order anyone of the other race to his liking. He even got the nerve to call the police because they weren't serving him food, when he was the one in fault. You, serving. Not leaving. I'm not taking it hard. The uh, the meg. I just thought about something, you guys. I'm like, yo, how many Karen videos have we seen that happened in New York? I don't think we've seen a single Karen video in from New York. Maybe one or two. Maybe, maybe some of those big, big profile cases. But majority, we don't see Karen videos in New York. This feel like this might be a New York type of vibe. I'm getting like, this dude is not white. He's Italian or something. I don't know. But regardless, New York, everybody's a Karen. <laughs> If you put New York folks in any other place on the on the map, any other state in this country, they will be considered a Karen. That's why there's no Karen videos that come out of New York. <laughs> Cause everybody up there acts and talks like that, man. You are Mexican mother that work here. Yeah. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. Whatever you're saying. Fuck you. Yeah. Bro, you were just leaving. Keep going. Serve me. I'm not Serve me. Nope. I'm not leaving. What? Thank you, Mr. Spear. Appreciate you guys. I'm not leaving. I am not leaving. Too bad for you. I'm going to be raised for hell here for the rest of the night. You want to just serve me and just give me my food let me leave? So he got time on his hands. I couldn't deal with somebody like him, man. He says, I'm going to raise hell here for the rest of the night. He has time on his hands, bro. I can't. Yo, I'm going to shout out everybody that's on the website copping merchandise at the end of the live stream. We're about halfway through this video. Her f*** with me. Nope. I don't care what you do. Well, I, I lived in this town my whole life. You. Well, I'm not leaving. How you going to tell somebody you're not leaving their establishment, bro? Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Dame 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 combo. Serve 
This Karen started showing her true colors when she was confronted by this man. But when the video taker talked about the truth of her being a Karen, she didn't like it and called the other guy random male names. He then just walked away to leave the problem and not escalate it, but this woman doesn't want it to end and followed him on his way home. She even accused that she's just walking her dog on a leash. Camel. You want to freak okay. out? Okay. Oh, you're being racist. You called me Karen. You're being I racist. Reason. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not the way it works. It's not the way it works. Mm -mm. You can't fault somebody for being Hispanic or black, but you can fault anyone of any nationality for being a Karen. <laughs> Karen is not a racial slur at all. At all. It's a characteristic. It's a characteristic slur. Don't be a Karen. No matter what your nationality is, do not be a Karen. Karen? Look how you're acting. I see, you see me picking. You heard what he said? It's about how you're acting. If she was a decent person, she wouldn't be called a Karen. I told you, you were over. Hope you're proud. I hope you're proud. That's embarrassing. You're, you're racist, lady. Come on. Come on. Come on. Racist lady following me. I picked her up and she starts screaming. She starts screaming. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You're escalating the situation. Look at that poor dog, man. That dog looks so sweet, so kind. That dog is like, bro, save me from this woman. You're racist, lady. You're embarrassed. You're embarrassing. You're embarrassing. Exactly, Nicole. The dog even looks embarrassed to be with this woman. This lady is freaking trying to grab my phone. Oh my gosh. I don't want your phone. Oh my god, I have to. You, you just heard your. I'm literally going home and you're following me. This obviously buffed out Kevin went on to get irritated. Oh dang, buffed out Kevin, he's already claimed when a couple of strangers did something in front of him. It wasn't clear what was it at all, but it was assumed to be not that big of a deal, and the leg bump him Kevin was just getting distracted on getting his leg day finished. It's not really something to get angry for since it was a public gym and anyone can do what they want. Ha ah, ah, ha ah, ah. ha! Look, this man did not get much taller from this position that he's in. I'm mean. I look, I am mean, y'all. What I'm saying is he ha he probably has a Napoleon complex. I could be wrong. <laughs> My back hurts just thinking about doing this workout. <laughs> What? Was I right or was I right? There's no reason for him to say what he just said. If God, if there's men in the gym carrying on, laughing, whatever the heck they're doing, they're not physically preventing you from doing your task at hand, which is your workout. Don't say nothing to them. Weak mind is what that is. That's a weak mind. I don't care how big your muscles is. If your mind is weak, your muscles are weak. Might as well be. Not make fun of me. He said, do not make fun of me. Weak mind. I bet, I'm telling you, I bet he got that Napoleon complex. That's why he's in the gym trying to get big. He, he was tired of getting picked on because he's little. Bro, the gym, bro. Yeah, do it to the side, not in front. Bro, don't play games. I will fuck. I, look, I told you I was right. Look at him. What's up? What's up? I wish he would. I'm not afraid to fight no muscles, but I, oh, I'm kicking him right in the kneecap. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Look, I'm a dirty fighter. I'm a dirty fighter. I'm, a, I'm taking you out. I'm taking you out. Not all short guys have the Napoleon complex, but usually guys that are, you know, five five. Or below, gotta watch out, gotta watch out. They might they might be a little mad. Entitled anti-masker Kevin. 
They, they got the short end of the stick. You know, they pulled the short straw in life, so they might be a little upset. And was freaking out when he was told to leave the premises of what we can assume the store. He was approached calmly by the staff to leave the premises because it was required to wear the mask. But he heated up and got into an argument about why he should be allowed to enter without a phase apparel. No, I'm not wrong, baby. I said exactly what I meant. I said not all. It's I gotta listen to your boy Artie Kicks, man. Listen, don't 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 only pick certain words that I say. Listen to all of them. Some. What's quite confusing since he said he was going to go out and exit, but at the same time, still standing in the same position he was in for the last 30 seconds. Remember what I said to you guys before. Oops, wait, I forgot. This is a whole full screen. So slick, slick, I should be minimized green screen, but I don't care enough about this clip. But remember what I said to you guys before when it came to this type of dynamic um, with this whole face mask wearing ordeal. 2020, 2021 has been tough for a lot of people. Um, so they've been affected in ways that you couldn't possibly understand. Um, some people lost their jobs. Some people lost loved ones. Um, some people themselves got sick. You don't know the mental state that people are in because of what we had to gone through in the past um, year and a half so far. So yes, this is wrong for him to be carrying on like this in public. But at the same time, it's like, um, I understand that you're, you're dealing with a lot. I understand that times might be tough for you, but don't make it harder on us. We still have a job to do. That was so unnecessary. This man It's funny how he has directed his aggression and anger to this short guy, this small guy, guy that he would probably be able to easily take down. Unnecessary. This guy is like standoffish. He's not really being nowhere near as aggressive as this man was, but he's directed his energy. He's like, hey, I, I could probably take him over him, so I'm going to go ahead and direct my anger and aggression at him. And maybe this guy right here over here. But uh, it's so unnecessary. You see? <laughs> you trying to leave, then go. What you still doing there? <laughs> Y'all, it's not, it's not very often that this man gets to assert his... Um, dominance or masculinity on anyone. I'm pretty sure it's not very often that he gets to assert that on anyone. So it, he needed that. That felt good to him. He probably haven't done anything like that since he was a kid. You know what I'm saying? But man, this was a mess. This was a mess. Vincent, love your channel. Thank you. Appreciate it, brother. Y'all, I'm about to get out of here. Got some other stuff I want to work on um, before tonight's live stream. So y'all know what time it is. You like this reaction? Hit that like button. Nah, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I told y'all I was going to shout out my uh, my channel members that are in here. Let me scroll up. Nicole, I see you up in here. V-Man, I know your birthday coming up on the 6th. Shout out to you. Um, who else we got in here? Is that Miss Perry? Yeah, girl, I see you beautiful. How you doing? Must be K. Must be Keith. What's up with you? I see you up in here. Steve, my moderator's up in here. What up, baby boy? Who else we got up in here? Who else we got up in here? Tamaris. What's going on with you? Shout out to you. Thank you for hanging out with us today. DJ Youngin, I saw you up in here early. Hold on. We got some people that was copping merch on the website. I'm about to shout y'all out. And then I am out. We out. We is out of here. Who was that? Who was that? Lisa, shout out to you, Lisa. Kelly, I see you up in here. What's going on, girl? Thank you so much for the order. Miranda, Wanda, shout out to you too. Amanda, shout out to you. Andrew, shout out to you. 
Antonio, these are from yesterday. Antonio, shout out to you. Um, Jenny and Pamela, shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to have all that stuff signed and autographed for you all, and I'm shipping it out first day on Monday. Discount code is going to be available um, all the way until um, 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. Um, Sunday night. So Monday morning. But anyway, y'all know what time it is, man. You like this reaction? Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to the originals will be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at RD Kicks. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. See ya.